hey, hey. What's happening? What's happening, friend? Nothing. Chilling. Nothing. I thought you were supposed to be relocated. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm in Seattle. I got some guys working in my garage right now. Oh, <laughs> is the lift getting in? Uh, maybe Thursday. Maybe Thursday? Okay. All right. Yeah, lots, lots of shit's going down right now. Oh, uh, that's good. I got, you know... I got random things. I'm going to rip cars apart and put chassis on. And Nice. And, uh, yeah, I, I feel like there's too many things going on right now. So, so uh, he, too many things that you can't focus on RC are that uh, too many RC things that you can't focus on what to do. All of those things. All too of those things. things. Just too many things, my friend. Too many yeah. things. All right. Well, um, I guess a week from now we will be in the luxurious uh, Grand Wyndham Resort and Day Spa or whatever it is. Um, uh, am I staying with you? I don't remember. Yes. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> you don't even remember. That's how. That's how it is. Cheers to you. See Ed White Cotton. I am right that I do have to plan his fucking travel. So therefore, I need to know when the One Up race is going to happen. <laughs> Well, um, I'm calling Randy out right now. Randy, what's up? It's I I know the dates. It's in my phone. Anyway, I know the dates, but we don't know the schedule. We don't know the classes. I don't know. Well, let's worry about the guy we do know. Okay. Um, announcing. Burr, 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 burr. Mike Boylan. Here we go. Hey! <laughs> oh, my head looks. My head looks so big, man. <laughs> well, it is. It's okay. How hey, about I'm this? Still, I'm, I'm still messing with audio. Hang, bear with me. That's fine. All right. Hang on. Hey, we're it, trust me. We're we're we we don't do this often either. Yeah, we suck at this. You do this yeah, like every day. Yeah. You guys talk for a second. Okay, we will. Okay. All right. So what, what do you think? Zoomed in? I think the zoomed in. Yeah, let's we'll zoom in. We're gonna stick with that. Oh, there we go. Make us even uglier. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is how we usually are. It's fine. All right. Um, I wonder what kind of audio problems he's having. Like, can you not hear us? Like, I don't know. I heard a, a a Windows like device disconnect thing. Oh, oh shit! He's gone. He's gone. Oh. Anyway, you know the man, the myth, Mike Boylan. He'll be back in a minute. Mister Mister Drunk Donkey himself. Correct. Uh, Mister Jim Kitori, best friend. I don't know about that. Cacciatore or whatever his name is. What's his name? Is he now an Italian dish, this guy? Joe Cacciatore? Yeah. <laughs> Gonna, his friend's Billy Spaghetti with Meatballs? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. <laughs> Louis Lasagna? Yeah. Oh, boy. All right. So, anyway, but as we were he's before, back he's and back. Thumbs up. Here we go. Got thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not getting no audio, man. We hear you. Can't hear us? We hear, we you. hear you. We hear you. Hi. Hello. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh. Hey. All right. Yeah. You would think us being in this world, we'd be a little more technical, but I got I mean, a third you monitor. Every day. I, well, the, the audio transferred to a third monitor, and it was like a little teeny speaker, and I could barely hear you. So <laughs> I want to hear all of you. All, all right. right. Well, what's Welcome. up, guys? Thank you. Mike Boylan, world-famous race promoter, uh, hurricane expert, uh, Dale <laughs> Earnhardt fan club member. Oh, look, I like, still got a hat, man. I keep it right here. Look, see? Yes, there you go. He's I got all, all my hats. So I got, like, all these hats that I I feel like a NASCAR guy when I do my weather. I got all my sponsor hats. So I always <laughs> joke about it. I'm like, yeah, I feel like a NASCAR guy. <laughs> That's what we need, Mike. Make note that we can get sponsor hats. We can just yeah. Well, you guys should. You can make money, man. We're trying, dude. It's hard. I don't think we're really trying. Let's just put it. <laughs> Amazon affiliate links. Those are working out great. Yeah, yeah. Those are really good. I've never Tens had of dollars. Tens of dollars. So it's, it's, it's anyway, Mike. Up. Um, for for folks who don't know, um, who the hell are you? Well, I'm an old old man. This is our 30th annual Snowbirds, man. I, f I feel like I'm still like not even 30. You know, my wife right. was back for that. I mean, 
I might sleep a little more, but uh, yeah, man, I, I just uh, started racing RC cars when I was 12 back in the 80s. It seems like there's a whole generation of us that started in 85. I always say it's like everybody started with grasshoppers, right? Yep. Um, and, uh, you know, opened up a hobby shop after college and, man, it was, you know, kids came along. So I, uh, you know, didn't get to stay as addicted to the hobby as I, I would have liked to, but I'm getting the itch again, trust me, because Emily's going off to college. So, but yeah, we run the Snowboard Nationals. I started it back in 1995, and here we are, year, uh, 30 years later, and uh, a lot of history. Man, we went through subsea batteries and brush motors, and I mean, three who, different tra- three different venues. Yes, yeah, we evolved. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, man, yeah, it's been a, it's been awesome. I mean, even even the early days, you know, um, seeing pictures of Dieter there back in the, you know, late you know, early years and, and uh, Joel Johnson and yeah. a lot of, a lot of names people don't even probably know. Kirby. Remember was Kirby? it always the same time of year? Always. Yeah. The whole idea was because of Daytona, there was a, some NASCAR guys that raced RC cars. So, um, right. we, yeah. So, you know, it was a great time for them to come. It was always okay. like speed weeks, you know, so that we always kind of modeled it after speed weeks. Uh, still kind of is day, you know, every now and then we'll get a NASCAR guy pop in. Yeah. I, uh, I never got to race at a Snowbirds while you had your track here in Tampa. Um, I did. I've gone. I've raced at your track when I was younger and a kid, but I never got to race at Snowbirds because it was always school year and right. sports and all that. But uh, um, obviously, as I got an adult, you know, that was I was there. I, I'm pretty sure I was there year one of the carpet track, and uh, I haven't missed too many. I know that, and so. Um, man, we went into that absolutely clueless, man. I mean, we we went over there in 01 and uh oh my god. I mean, we've come a long way. I mean, we were duct taping the seams. You know, every year it was a joke, the stupid wood with banana. And uh I felt so bad. I was walking in one Sunday morning, you know, and they were running the 12 scale GTV main. And I guess I think it was Mike McMahon. Is that name ring a bell? Uh, yeah, 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 I think he flew off the track. Blackstock was doing a wheelie when I walked in. And uh, I wanted to go home. (laughs) As Jimmy Jimmy McClellan once described it, that track's rougher than a cob. (laughs) (laughs) It was bad. I mean, so through the years, we started drilling like Tapcons. I'd I'd have Mookie looking out the door. I'm like, make sure nobody's coming. We were were drilling the wood right into their floor. And, you know, thank God the Padano brothers showed up and Mike Bean and them. And now, you know, now we built a subfloor. But, um God, we didn't know what we were doing back then, man. We that was before CRC carpet. We were all buying that stuff from Dalton. Remember the fanfare stuff? It was real thin. Yep. And by the yep. end of the weekend, you could see through it. Like you'd pick it up and you could like see daylight. It was so thin. It was like scary. Man. Uh <laughs> you have the part number of that? I think some of us might want that back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, pretty good actually. I, you know, <laughs> hey, listen, I what I've learned in light is all, the good old days are now. Everybody wants to change things, and then you always wish you could go back to the good old days, you know? It's yeah life i mean we all do it you know you have to you know nascar's the same way they make rule changes knee-jerk reactions and everybody's like we should just go back the way it was you know i got people that still want to go back to the old hotel and everybody that, at the time cochran was like you got to do something about this hotel man we ain't coming back but now everybody's like that was the best time you know it was a roach motel but oh you know, it was horrible <laughs> it was like Guys would show up a year later, um, the crew from Jersey, I forget some of their names, but they, they'd still have Trinity header cards underneath their bed <laughs> from the year before. Well, I mean, it was it was, it was it was almost a roulette game whether or not you got a shitter I, like, <laughs> in your hotel room. Oh, like, no, people had bathroom. They had catfish in them one time. Walking, they had no bathroom. They were like, yeah. no <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to say let's not roll that back, okay? <laughs> Throw <laughs> shitter. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no. You spend too much money to worry about it. I mean, but man, think about it. everybody, you know, Drew Ellis throwing people in the pool and you know, EA, man, he was just a kid. And I mean, God, he had, he had black hair. <laughs> yeah, we were all younger and skinnier. <laughs> but, <laughs> but it's good. been a good ride. Um, yeah, I've, you know, I was a racer. I was really uh you know, I, I was a pretty good road racer too. I mean, we had men race for so many years and um yeah, it would just you know, I was that kid. I mean, I, I I can feel both sides being a race promoter. You know, I was that guy out there running a body without any paint on in the middle of the night at Whippoorwill, you know, pissing off Bob Hosh. And, <laughs> you know, I was the outlaw like everybody else, you know. And so it's tough because, I, you know, I, 
I was that guy looking for gray areas. You know, I was the. You know, it's like, so I think it's helpful. Racer. Yeah, we're racers, man. I mean, you know, I've. Uh, what um, gray both. areas are fun to talk about? Like, do you have any? You have any memorable things that happened in the last few years that just like blew your mind? Well, brushless sucked for everybody because when we were running Novaks to begin with, nobody knew what a 5300 was or 40, whatever, you know, 10.5, 13.5. And the ones that knew, knew. And, and uh, you know, we didn't know anything. So, like, there, there was, you know, heat in the rotors. People, you know, they, they would be companies bringing up batches of motors and they'd learn how to heat the wire and pass tech and um, changing end bells. So, I mean, I, you know, even LiPo batteries, you know, a lot of guys figured out – tricks on the heat and the batteries. Um, so we had to really, you know, there was another thing that got, I think a little bit too quick in the industry before we really understood it, but hopefully things are calmed down. I mean, they, you know, we've all learned enough about them. Um, but I think that the switch to brushers really sucked. I mean, it was because there, there was so many gray areas and, and nobody knew what they were looking for, uh, resistance and inductance and, you know, um, so things have settled down a little bit. I hope you know you can tell by lap times, things are pretty tight. Um, but you know, back in the brush days, holy crap! I mean, think about that, Monty. Like all the things guys would do, like yeah, yeah. twisting comms and putting big brushes on the backside and pulling them through, or you know, uh, you know, they were using illegal wire back then. You know, right. uh, we had to measure wire and then insulation. You couldn't unwind them, so it's always been uh, yeah. kind of there. You know, yeah. I mean, so, you had. You always you always had that motor that you could just twist to the legal legal edge of the liberal edge of legality, yeah. as we used to refer to it as. And uh, yeah, I mean, you just you just sit there and you sit there in your pit and like, I, yeah. and a little this way, a little that way, just to well, get it right on the edge. I, and, I always had the best luck just letting people do it because I figured if you could do it, I could do it. It's a lot easier to tech that way. You know, they were redrilling timing rings and. You know, when we said we couldn't redrill timing rings, guys were just super gluing the end bells on. So then it's like, you know, so we kind of were letting guys do things back then. Um, and it's kind of worked. I guess I guess going back to your thing there, uh, Mike, uh, like heat shrink. Like one thing I didn't learn back in the early days, guys were swapping heat shrink in the day. And I'm like, walked into this trailer one time and there's all this like SCR yellow, you know, 1700 wrappers. And, you know, wasn't this so in Indianapolis at the velodrome? Probably uh, Braun, Todd Braun, remember Todd Braun? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah I uh. So, you know, we had to start weighing batteries. Um, that was a new thing, you know. So, yeah, we've evolved, you know, just, I, you know, I hate it for racers because you, you get mad at people like us, but we're not the ones cheating, you know. It's like everybody wants to be mad at somebody, and it's like, you know, of course we take the blame, but, man, I mean, they can't get NFL games right or, major league baseball right or nascar right so you know one thing i tell all race promoters man we're all human don't you know don't take it too personal yeah i mean you got to push the envelope to some degree and uh yeah it, it's sobers is i guess for whatever reason it seems like a lot of things always came out there or showed up there and you know i mean even to just five six years ago when this clown showed up with a spool right <laughs> and full scale yeah. and totally yeah. changed full scale racing forever so like it's kind of always been one of those races where you know uh a creative ingenuity uh was, oh, yeah. was happened mm -hmm. and uh, well, you know you, you have to you have to appreciate it well you remember castle speed control change everything oh, um, God. smc would show up every year with a new batch of batteries and you know no, i didn't mind that so much because i was an smc driver uh, so I, it was great i appreciate it <laughs> i remember they showed up one sunday they're all wearing shirts and uh kicked everybody's ass everybody went like a lap faster and i'm like ah. <laughs> You know, I mean, the ones bitching about it, the ones that bitched the most, they got one, then it was okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So what, what um, you know, like over the years, like some of the things that I, I saw, maybe not in person, but I saw remotely, like you guys had this awesome Enduro race. Yeah. And then I did take a part in the figure eights for a while. I thought that right. was a lot of fun. Um, do, do you have any thoughts on like new kind of like sideshow stuff that we could see in the future on that yeah. Saturday night after uh, everyone's done crying in those B mains? Yeah. 
Well, I think the race got so big, we got to the point where um, it was so late that, you know, we would hype it up so much. But, man, most people were just, like, done, you know. Done, yeah. And the figure eight was fun, man. But, man, everybody started throwing crap on the track and, you know, beer bottles. And my guys are looking at me and all the on-road guys are looking at me. And I'm like, <laughs> we got to do something, you know. So we've tried it all. I had a – so my biggest blunder ever, man, I paid a grand for a band one time on Monday night. And I thought, oh, yeah, everybody's going to sit at the ballroom. Can't practice, right? Let's have a band by the pool, right? It was me and Julie. <laughs> it was like everybody wanted to stay in that ballroom, man. You know, and I get it. I get it. Nobody's there to party. I mean, you're you're in there, you know. So, I mean, so we're always trying fun stuff. I mean, um, you know, this. So yeah, I, I didn't do anything this year. Obviously, we're gonna set up the old karaoke machine again, and that was fun last year. Uh, so they told me I just had a meeting that we could stay there all night again. So we're gonna make it the unofficial party spot Saturday to hang out at the bar and do some karaoke. <laughs> That's simple enough but yeah you know the enduro was fun and then it got controversial man i had people complaining protesting it's a free race man it was like come on are you kidding me you know and i'm like it's because well, ea was using the the liquid air and cooling down stuff you know we, well yeah we had a fire one time um quick release hubs and you know we try to do i thought it'd be fun to do a tire change right yeah, yeah. you get some guys drink and do a tire change well somebody came out with like a quick release hub and it was like boom, boom like that's not fair. And I'm like, I didn't have to think it's a free race. I don't know. I want your money back. I mean, what the shit, man? I'm like, yeah, I, I do miss, I mean, I do miss racing those the girls like we had at the velodromes and stuff. Those were a ton of serious. Fun. Oh my God. I think the peak of the hobby was that there was a year that like we had all these cap tire tracks around the country and, and an endurance yep. was like the thing, man. I mean, yep. we had, uh, it was professional, you know, uh, mm -hmm. you had a pit cruise, you had a, a spotter. I mean, it was, it was good times. I mean, I, that was real racing to me. I mean, it, 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 that was a good era. You know, it's sad. It kind of fizzled, fizzled away, but right. You know, maybe you could come back. I don't, I don't know. It was just fun because you got your team involved. Yes. I'll never forget married. My freaking, one of my funniest stories, we were in Arkansas, man. And I got my, my hand got completely frozen. Like, and I'm like steering with my elbow because I can't even move my hand. So Meredith's up there giving me a back massage. <laughs> I'm like, dude, you got to do something. So he's up there rubbing my shoulders. <laughs> we're, we won the damn, it was a Nationals, like 93. And I'm like, this looks really funny. And then my battery went dead. The stupid PCMs, remember them back in the day? Yep. They, yeah, it started beeping on me. I'm like, crap, we had half the race to go. So he's down there running around trying to find a battery, you know. And, I mean, it's just things you don't think about, you know. I mean, oh yeah, it was good times. Yep. The, yeah. I, I mean, the, the few that I ran, I ran mostly just at Indianapolis, the Velodrome there. But they, those were some of the most fun racing that I had with my dad ever. Yeah. And, and uh, you know, obviously we were no factory team. We were just two guys that lived locally that were just trying to do it. And, you know, the, the biggest thing was that our, our big thing is that we bought Bud Bartos's car that he won the Dominguez Hills Velodrome race with. Oh, yeah, yeah, so we that. bought that car and it was a little bit different. So we had to, like, you know, configure it to the way he ran it. And that car, amazingly enough, was just great. And, you know, I think we ended up third one year, you know, just, yeah. you know, just no, it, was big. And I, and it was awesome. Remember the uh, pro car series? Like that was another error that was awesome. Oh, yeah. Ollie and his professionalism that he brought. I mean, you know, it's, it's like I always relate to things like Woodstock and stuff. Everybody wants to go back to a time and we've all tried to recreate those moments. But it's like at the moment, it's something. But it's like, can you ever really go back? But man, what he created those couple years, oh, man, it was so fun, man. Traveling the country and going to Mattoon and. Oh yeah! yeah oh my god! I, oh, I just have flashbacks of that place. That that place was insane. In the cornfield. <laughs> oh yeah! I mean, literally, this was at the side of somebody's house in the middle of Mattoon, Illinois, in a cornfield. <laughs> like they build it, they will come, kind of shit. Yeah, they did, and and they did, and we did. I mean, that place was packed. I won uh, five hundred bucks, man. I, I was right on Joel Johnson's ass man and i'm like i could have took them and i'm like man i need that five i had no air conditioning in my thunder chicken everybody called it i'm like man i could i could buy air conditioning if i crash i get 50 if i get second i get 500 and that's real racing that was like me thinking you know i need the money so we had a good clean race <laughs> oh that's awesome so let's kind of fast forward to you know this year yeah um, i think right now i saw there was over 500 like 566 yep. entries Look at that, man, before I forget. 
There's your. Oh yeah. Ooh, look at those things. Some big dollar checks there from Montac. Look at yeah. that. That's you, man. The guy at Walgreens is like, I got to meet this hefty Jesus guy. We all <laughs> joked, what the hell's a hefty Jesus? That's what, Julie picked him up. That's what they told her. Yeah. <laughs> So, hey, yeah, we're, seven o'clock Tuesdays. Yeah. Big, yeah. Hey, big thanks to Dusty for getting that done yet again. Uh, yeah. I think it was pretty fun. Uh, it was a it was an interesting way to kind of like uh, show up on the scene with a brand new uh, situation. You know, we'd been talking about like how can we help like the oval bodies um, for a while. Like every oval guy I, I kept on talking to, and you know, I know a few of them. Some of them will actually admit to knowing me. And, um, you know, they're sitting there scraping bodies and they're like, you know, weighing all their bodies and all this crazy stuff. And I'm like, this got to be easier, you know? Yeah. So. I appreciate it. No, but yeah, money, the uh, entries are crazy. I mean, we, um, yeah, you know, I, I mean, we're, I mean, we're on pace for 700. I mean, if, if we just filled the, that's what a lot of racers don't understand. Like when we start capping entries, we're not capping per se. We're just capping them to a point where we don't have to add another heat race. So like where we're at now, we're at 35, 36 races, which is on pace where we're normally at, but that's, you know, 360, 70 road entries, let's say. And, um, it's great. I mean, we've, um, it's, it's awesome to see that many heads. I mean, we're up to like 290 heads. You know, I always go for that. I mean, so we'll, we'll, we're doing really good. I mean, it's, it was a little you worse. Think that having it on live RC, the registration has helped this year or. Oh, yeah, I'm sure a lot of people thought I was always BSing, like, hey, we're at 300, we're at 400, you know. I think um, that's been a great addition. I mean, I, I can't thank Corey enough, man, what they do. And so I guess our biggest addition this year is they're bringing down two full-time guys that they have now that just do race coverage um, on top of the cameraman. So they're, they're planning on a full-out presentation with headshots, driver bios, you know, moving cameras. They're going to have two guys there full-time, switchboard. So – they're, they're coming to really up the game with coverage. Uh, and this is, I mean, I'm telling you, any, any track, I was talking to Drew Ellis the other day, I'm like, this is amazing, like, with the service. Because now you eventually you're going to be able to import this right into the program, um, which is great. But it does help planning uh, big time for, you know, race races. Um, and, and everybody's been wanting to see who's signed up, you know. So oh, this, yeah. is, this is really the only way we can do it uh, for them. So. Yeah, that was fun. So yeah, we're we're looking forward to it. I mean, we added front wheel drive. I, I, that was a last second thought. I'm like, well, I'm giving the oval guys another entry. Let's 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 give the road guys another class. And um, I was surprised we got uh, you know almost 20 right now in front wheel drive. So um, that was kind of a neat addition last second. So yeah. when you say capping out classes, do you mean in like uh, even numbers? So, so like we're talking like you're going to be at 10 or 20 or 30. Right. Totally. Okay. Yeah, I mean, and I mean, you know, like I'm like, here's my numbers. Like, we're, I'm always crunching numbers, you know, because um, so, I'm I'm looking here and I'm thinking maybe I need to add some classes. And well, so I'm thinking about twelve scale mod uh, on the road side. That there's eleven. So I think there's yeah, that nineteen. I mean, so so we cap. We usually go for a nineteen number because we do the B main thing. So um, we're pretty good. I mean, uh, there's there's openings in every class. So. Yeah. And then you know, keep our 12 scale, I'm thinking about there's 32 entries. Yeah. So we're, you know, it's obviously 30, we'd love 39. That's our yeah. weird number. Um, 30. So that's good too. 12 scale stock and GTP uh, 35. I'm surprised they're almost neck and neck. Mm -hmm. and, and another uh, phenomenon, which I don't, I, so I was talking to Tim the other day and he was like, oh yeah, roads like 90%. And I'm like, I get worried. Like one year we're going to have an offset number on oval and road, but we're within like 10. It's like, I don't know how this happens, but it's perfect to have almost exactly the same, you know, um, it's tricky though, because road road, we get to pack the cars more seven, eight, nine cars, but they run six or five minutes, six minute, eight minute races. So it's kind of like a offset, you know, uh, yeah. we'll have more heats, but they're all four minute races, but then they're smaller numbers. So we still end up, you know, trying to play in timing and ends up almost being the same. Um, it's, it's just, you know, it's a logistics nightmare. Trust me, trying to figure it out. <laughs> and adding classes and keeping that practice window, it, you know, it's tough because now we got to add a little additional time and, and you're trying to give open practice sessions. And so well, I think the, the front wheel drive and USGT guys can just go together. We'll be fine. They might. Yeah. You know, well, yeah, it's true. Unless a lot of them are running 
I don't know. If it was, I don't know what the crossover might be, but I mean, I think yeah. that would be a good grouping as far as just putting them out there together. Yeah, we're gonna try to do more of that with the open sessions. I think Tim did a little bit more of that last year. So yeah. I, I've seen a I've seen a lot of people looking like they're trying to dip into a sportsman uh, twenty five five touring car. What do you think about that, uh, there, Mike? Well, so the name change. The intent was to keep. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, listen, I mean, well, Tim put a post out, right? Uh, Monty, uh, you started it up too. So I'm not, <laughs> I'm not calling names. I just, you know, I, my just face, face. I don't know what the hell. I mean, yeah, I mean, it, the intent of the class never changed. You know, we never had restrictions before. It was just, we always had a rule that we could bump people out of the class. I mean, we have every other year, it seems like. So, um, I just never liked the word amateur and we have a sportsman in oval. I'm like, I would just make sportsman, but I, I think it's, I honestly think it's because Scotty offered 25, five and, and it was successful and a lot of tracks are running 25, five. So they don't, I don't think they're looking at it as they just look at it. That's what we're running. Maybe at their, their track, maybe hopefully. Um, but you know, we'll have to see how it goes. I mean, Tim, like you said, I mean, you know, if it, if it looks clear that, some guys are way faster and shouldn't be in there. Then he'll bump them. And, and he's done that for the last 10 years. So, I mean, but so, my, man, we got so many classes. We got to wait until like round three, you know, when <laughs> too late. So you like sandbag and you sandbag yeah. <laughs> round three, you like lay it down, put like a lap on everybody. I guess. I mean, but Jesus, I mean, we got so many touring classes, right? I mean, there's definitely places to run now. I mean, and I'll tell you the shocker for me is the VTA. I must be a Southern thing because, I don't think they're getting them anywhere else, but we're almost like 38 BTAs now. Wow. So it's weird how different, sec you know, sections of the country, um, you know, get different classes. I, I think, I think the VTA class in general is just popular. Um, it's a controllable speed. There's a lot of spec, everything. Um, uh, the cars are heavy. Um, I think it's just one of those variables that uh, every track's racing it. So yeah. that way, every guy in the country, no matter where you're at, I mean, whether it's West Coast, Florida, Northeast, North, you know, Central. I mean, there's a VTA class at every race. Yeah. And I think that there's just that many people running VTA these days that, um, you know, it's a, just a natural that it's going to be one of the bigger classes. Because it's 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 literally a it's not a regional class. It's it's a nationwide class. I mean, you, hell, you even got Huddy's kid running it. <laughs> He's got his own yeah. Facebook page, man. You see that? Oh, man. Yeah. So, Super I mean. Star. He's, he's you see his car is painted, it's got the police on it. Oh, didn't see that, but hey, look like yeah, a cool yeah. kid. Man. This will be fun. Do you, yeah. do you think I should enter VTA just so I can peel that kid this year? <laughs> it might be team wars, man. We might, you guys are close enough to each other, man. We, we might have spitball fights or food, food, you know, yeah, food fights. I mean, yeah. like some nerf weapons or you know, a fire hose. Let's start it, man. Yeah, water balloons, man. I'll be back. You guys, you know. <laughs> What was that? Pizza's here? <laughs> so anyway, um, well, I mean, I don't want to take too much of your time. No, I got time. I, I got to go on Ricky's little show at eight. So we we got time. Uh, Who's Ricky? Just, Ricky Ricky Kernoodle? Kernoodle. Oh, the, be the best battery cheater I've ever known in my life. It's he not had that whole idea where he cut the post in half and like you wouldn't measure the whole thing on the one cell. Well, yeah, no comment, you know. It was, uh, um, it's changed way we tech batteries. Oh yeah, yeah. And, the, and and the, and look, I, I'm not. Hey, we all try shit, right? The best thing about it, the most frustrating thing about me, and I've said this before on this podcast, I didn't think of it. <laughs> like, not to say that I would have done it, but right. the fact that I didn't think about it, that was like the yeah. most frustrating thing for me. But anyway, I, I, well, I hope you have fun. What kind of show does Ricky do? Just an oval He's thing? An oval, yeah, he does an oval show. They 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 don't do it weekly. It's more. Um, a Facebook group, you know. Gotcha. Yeah, and the uh yeah, he's cool, you know. He's yeah. a good dude. He's his heart's in the right, you know. He he definitely uh like you guys, I mean he uh, kind of a core keeps things kind of going. I mean, you gotta have your key players in this man. And right. I think um Mike does an awesome job, you know, his his enthusiasm through the years yeah. has been real consistent and um passion, your passion. Yeah, you gotta have that man because he it it gets too stressful, man, for some folks, man, when it's still supposed to be a hobby, you know? Yeah, I mean, and we've talked about this, is, is that, you know, for myself personally, you know, it's like if I played, went and played golf, 
right? I would the competition I have is with how I do that day or at that golf course or whatever. And the fact is that I could hit 40 bad shots in a row, but I hit that one good one. Now I'm back in. And yeah. it's just like racing. You know, you have that one good race and now you're back in. And now you get all motivated and you're ready to go on the next one and this and that. And um I I, I think that uh, that's what RC racing, it brings that level of, you know, I've always been a competitive kid. I played sports in college and all the way through college. And, you know, competition is I enjoy. And right. whether it's whether I'm competing against myself and my own abilities or competing against another racer on the track, um, it's kind of all in one the same for me. Oh, and, yeah, I, I was the same way. I mean, and I, that's where I think, like, with this live kiosk thing that they bring, like, practice. To me, the birds is practice is almost as, as much as the race. Like, you know, everybody lives for those times. And I'm like, with you, like, you you could have a, a sh- shitty week racing, and, and but you had that practice that you know you were fast, you know. Yep. Uh, yep. And I, I remember those days. I mean, you, you know, you could feel good that you at least competed, even though you might have the worst luck on the planet, you know. Um, oh, yeah. So definitely. Uh, when there, you know, and the cool thing I think we're at in the hobby, too, is we have half classes serious and there's fun classes, too, which is great. Mm-hmm. That's something that we didn't used to have. So you got some guys that come to just have a good time. You got the competitive guys and everybody finds a place to fall, you know. Right. Uh, I mean, we all talk about. And this is kind of the, you know, this is almost like the third rail of RC is that we have so many classes and it was like, well, we should have so many classes. But then again, at the same time, a person like yourself who's putting on a race, you want those classes because you get more people. Right. And so like, it's tough, man. Let me tell you, I I hate it. I, I, because it's so hard to plan, you know, all you're really doing is robbing from another class. That's, that's the only grief that I have is, um, but I know that the days like Whippoorwill, we had 200 in stock, 100 in mod. That was it. Like that was only choices that we had. So, you know, like I said, everybody wants to go back. But now mm-hmm. that we have, we know what it is. I don't think you can go back. Because trust me, like my buddy Fuller, right? You could put all this money in a hobby and constantly get your ass kicked. And then you start to say, you know what? I'm just going to go fishing or go golfing. Like, so yeah. something. I mean, you're only beating. So if the same guys are always in, in the D and E main, I mean, are you really feeling good about winning with 60 cars in a class? I mean, so I think we're at a point where 15, 20, 30 in a class that, you know, and I, yeah, there's just no going back. It's just, I don't like adding class. I mean, I hate it. I hate it. Honestly, I just, you know, I, but you have to do it. We're at a point that, you know, guys need to find a place to race. It's just, it makes it really hard though on a race with practice schedules. Then you got trophies and, you know, yeah, that that's where it gets to be uh, a problem. So I, I'm jumping into this, but if we could talk about practice, I would love like the way the oval guys do practice is fucking amazing. They're like, blah, 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 car, you know, yeah. and then, you know, you, you kind of like self police it for for each other. We need to find some way we need at least like a pan car. Or like maybe speed based yeah. lines for road because otherwise all we're doing is peeling the fuck out of each other. Right. Well, yeah, I think the the thing with oval is though at night they have that person sitting there, Gene yeah. or whomever, who actually does that. Right. They have like the 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 person kind of setting the gate of okay, I have SK cars, SK cars. Yeah. If you had an SK car, come on up. You know, and we don't have that person on the own road side. Yeah, and I think that just evolved. Like one year, Nick Bell's wife just volunteered to do it a couple years ago. You know, I mean, and it's just weird how it kind of works. You know, um, hey, we got 10 stock cars. I mean, you know, some people, uh, you know, suggested, you know, GTP together, or touring car together, or maybe, you know, and that's something we could do. I mean, maybe, I, you know, we could talk talk to Tim about it a little bit more yeah. once we get those big lines, you know. Um, I think you know, one thing that like cars that have rubber tires and cars right. that have foam tires. I think that's probably close enough. Mm-hmm. It's at least slightly less dangerous. So yeah. it's definitely yeah, something that would be better. I, I, I agree. Didn't IIC have the, basically the 12 scale line and the touring car line. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Did that work pretty good? Yeah. 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 I, think so. I think it's okay until you get to these GT 12s, which are slow as shit. <laughs> that's kind of the problem. Yeah. Well, one thing we evolved, I mean, at least, you know, a lot of races uh, only did practice by heats and stuff. We tried that one year. It took forever, you know? So yeah. I think the open, if it's done right, 
you know, you get a lot of track time. It's just when it gets hectic, I agree. It's sometimes chaos, you know. And oh, he and I don't want to get rid of the open. <laughs> no, no, I think, but I think it could be tweaked. I, I totally agree. It could be tweaked. Better. I am the chaos generator. Like, <laughs> no. Yeah. Oh, we just got to get the, the old place. Yeah. No, I'm going to say we got to get the oval guys quick want to go out over two cars at a time, though. It's like, guys, I mean, you know, it's like, uh, there's only so many minutes, you know, I, I, I practice is exactly 50, 50, you know, I'm so anal about that. Like on roads got the same exact hours as oval, man. I'm like, I don't want to get in that. You know, we just got to You got to figure out how to use that time, you know? Um, right. And, uh, but I get it modified cars, you know, uh, but then they want the bite up, you know, remember the one year it was crazy. Like nobody practiced on Wednesday. It was like all the on road guys are standing out there. Like, what's this? I'm like, I don't know. They got 350 entries. It's not like they're not here. They're, they don't want to run hard because they don't fight. People like sandbagged, and they would run like right after the the pink tire card run. Oh yeah, they ran their spec bombs and they were fast as shit. Yeah, no. yeah. Or they don't want bite. You know, they, they don't want to run unless there's bite. But the only way to get bite is get cars out there. So I tell you what's really helped us is like we got this um these these spec ten mafia group that runs these cars from Indy. There's like twenty of them. They'll throw their stuff down, and Mud Boss has helped a ton, um, except for the one year they all had the idea to soak their tires, and they went out there like the first practice with wet tires, and I'm like, whoa, 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 man! I remember EA was like, what the hell? I'm like, you know, so, but uh, it was a good idea. But I'm like, at least now I think there's enough classes that they go out there and you know get the track grooved up. Um, so. Yeah, those big heavy Mud Bosses with the pinks, you know, basically they run team purple tires or whatever it is they're 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 very good track groovers that's for sure track groovers man yeah yeah we had an asphalt track we remember the days of spraying grape soda do you ever do that mike where you had to put down grape soda mm -hmm. <laughs> oh you freaking julie worked at Publix, right and I, I, I hated sunday mornings like saturday night julie picked me up four two liters man you know we had to blow the track we had to spray it with grape soda but nobody wanted to be the first one out there because it was still sandy and i'm like guys you gotta we got to get cars out there and it's going to suck all day, you know? That's what 48 pitch is for. You just yeah. throw it out there and just run it. It's fine. <laughs> I, made, I made a car one time and I put all these old TRC rubber tires and I called it the tire raider or something. And I thought I'd drag it behind an old touring car, you know? And I was like, mm -hmm. that didn't work too good. <laughs> it was fun making it though. Yeah. It was yeah. a tire that they use in dirt oval races. I get it. You know, but yeah. you it tracked around or around it, but. No, nah, it's uh, we're we're really stoked, man. I mean, the hotel, you know, I had a huge meeting there this week, and um, a lot of the hotel staff's been there since '08. So we're it's it's kind of like we're going into family, you know. They they know us and they allow us to do what we do, and we're so fortunate. Um, the the TV thing is great. Like we got our TV channel. I'm looking at the bar picture. You know, they put it in the bar now, and mm -hmm. so we've come a long way. You know, um, yeah, and, and that hotel's come a long way too. Like. Oh, I started yeah. going in 2010 and you know, it's, it's, it's gone through like cycles. I think we're on the upswing right now again. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. It went, remember the one year we had jackhammers and mm -hmm. it's like, holy crap, man. Well, they got rid of those tubs. Those tubs were death defying. No, the tubs were amazing for Phil Trotter to take naked pictures in them. With the <laughs> bubble baths. Nice. I got some pictures I could share. Yeah. Yeah. No. But no, the tubs were horrible because you had to span. Like I'm six one and I have pretty long legs, and like you had to span uh, like fourteen inches to get a to get into the tub, and you it was like you damn near killed yourself every time. And <laughs> I'm glad they got rid of those. I mean, but yeah, oh they, my God. we had we had yeah. really made for like you know that event is not made for showers. No, at no, no. time was I'm like, man, that guy smells good. That's not really what happens at this race. Like, what we could use is maybe, like, as you walk up the stand, like, everyone has to take a breath right. in. That might fucking help, all right? Or a breathalyzer <laughs> test. <laughs> Drunk racing is fine. The, the, the cars are small enough. But, like, sometimes you've been on the stand and you, like, look to the left and some guy just goes like this. <sighs> and he basically kills you with his breath. It's amazing. Yeah. Well, hey, maybe registration. We'll just have, you know, uh, we'll just have like, you know, gum and breath mints. <laughs> we might need it, but like we need it up up the stairs because like. You know, the, the, I think one of the most weirdest, uh, never fails. One of the craziest things that happens every year is 
Oval will be done, you know, three in the morning, four in the morning. And those guys are drinking a beer and stuff. Yeah. And they're they're trickling out of the track. And here comes the armored guys all fresh with a shower, with a coffee. And one says, like, you know, good night. And the, and the armored guy says, good morning. And it's yeah. like, what? It's like your brain freaks out, you know. Um, but I, I got to tell you an old story from the old hotel. I just remembered now talking about what we got with Live RC. We didn't have any – so everybody had to pit in the hotel room back in the day. We had a few sponsored spots, but it was like everybody was in their rooms. But we had no way to communicate. So remember the old two-way radios, like the family radios? Mm -hmm. I rigged up a speaker in the uh, garden, and I taped it on channel three so it was picking up the speaker. And everybody had to have these little two-way radios in their um, rooms to listen because we didn't have live RC back then. It was yeah. auto score, you know. And, uh, you know, just thinking how far we've come, you know. Um, and uh, every now and then somebody would be driving down I-4 like a trucker. And all of a sudden you'd get somebody like speaking Spanish on your channel because it was an open radio, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're waiting for the race number. All of a sudden, bring it one night. It's like, what? Or how about and that was Troy Meredith, but we didn't know. Well, I saw him with the world, man. He's he's <laughs> talk about going back to Woodstock days, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I, I do want to go back a second. We talked about, you know, drinking in that. Do you feel, and I think I kind of feel the and thinking about it right now, do you, I think Snowbirds was kind of one of the first tracks where there was not necessarily encouraged, but like you could drink beer and like no one really gave a shit. And I don't know if it's a Florida thing or if it's a Mike Boylan thing or it's just, we're going to have a good time. Let's drink some beer. It was, right. was, has that kind of always been a Snowbirds thing or yeah. is it just kind of evolved? Um, I think it's just because we never were really a roar track. So, yeah, you know, flip flops and uh, beer, you know, I mean, I mean, let's be honest, if you if people are going to drink it anyways, they'll just hide it. Right. I mean, right. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, I think that was the novelty of our race originally was it was kind of, you know, the first car action called it the world's uh, biggest club race, you know, Um so I, you know, that's kind of been the feel. It's evolved right. a little bit, but um, yeah, you know, it's kind of been that kind of getaway. Who cares? You know, not be so serious, right? Uh, so yeah. Well, let's yeah. also be honest. You haven't worn shoes since your wedding day, probably. So, <laughs> hey, let me show you these things. I'm pr so I, I, no, they're sitting right here. Now look, Talladega, right? I blew out my flip flop. I'll never forget. But RC racers, you know what's holding that together? Zip tie. That. A zip yep. tie, and this has been since October. <laughs> Mike, what size are you? I'll go to the Walmart. I'll hook you up. <laughs> hey, look at this shoe. These are my winter shoes, right? These are look at you know what happened. To, look at it. Look at that. You know what that's from? Falling asleep at the fire pit. That's a burnt toe. <laughs> I woke up one time. I woke up one time with my foot on fire. I'm like, because you, you know, you always balance your feet on the fire pit. So <laughs> anyway, uh, that's <laughs> kind of like a hot foot, but a different way. Yeah, yeah. hot foot, hot pocket. Um, yeah, I mean, hey, you know, if they, so some of our new, so you know, remember transponders? Um, yeah, the ones you had to take out that sucked. Yeah, and you had to charge them. Like we would race twenty hours a day, and I'm like. When are, how are we going to charge? You know, they had to go right from the car to the charging rack because if they were dead, you're screwed, right? Mm -hmm. These are things that we, you know, you didn't think about back then. You, these things had to be charged, or you're there's no way to yeah. count cars. And then um, frequencies, like somebody would take the uh, radio back to the pit, um, and and you were who's got the six clip? <laughs> yeah, or you were victim. Like you could flip a guy, you could flip your radio on and ruin somebody's weekend, right? The, mm -hmm. I mean. That sucked. Like we had a radio rack of 450 radios one year. I mean, come on. That was like, Jesus. <laughs> well, the, the smart people went out and found 40 megahertz, and we didn't yeah. have that problem. <laughs> for, for, for some reason, every every modified main, they were all on 27 band. It's like there's only six channels. You know? <laughs> <laughs> ten guys. Yeah, ten guys, right? I mean, God, yeah, I mean, Mookie, I, like, I, I know I find a transponder, man. Mookie, you got to go door to door, man. Like, we got to find this guy in a hotel room. He's got, you know, <laughs> red three. We got a race to run. <laughs> yeah, that's serious. Yeah. Oh, time, that, that was the whole reason for me to get 40 megahertz is that way I could go practice anytime I wanted. It didn't yeah. matter. And, yeah. you know, that was 
but you know, it took it took effort to find that stuff. Yeah, and this is like you know, not necessarily and you know, you know it's evolving, but not there. Speaking of things like that, where became next level before, um, and I don't know, I don't think this was lifetime, but like uh, the Ketchikellas used to come and help the event, right? Oh yeah, and then they had like. Uh, a little race station. You could print your stuff out. I don't think that was Lifetime, was it? It was pre-Lifetime, right? That was his. Yeah, he was yeah. pretty good, man. I mean, uh, yes, that was... Um, that was his thing. Did. I think he built it. Yeah. yeah. John Fast Cats. Very nice. Fast Cats, wasn't it? Yeah, Fast Cats. And it was great to see his uh, his kid. Um, he was at Worlds racing. Oh. Uh, he ran Mod 12th, um, you know, so JB... Yeah, you know, he he comes down to the birds, you know. JB Catchakella. Hopefully, you yeah, listen. hopefully. No, it was great. Uh, it was you know we had Dave Vera for a while. Uh, he you know the Minray crew and um, yeah, I guess we've had a few different phases. You know, Kenny was great. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, John. The only thing about John, he was kind of tricky to figure out. <laughs> he was really wired different. I think. Uh, I think he went forty eight hours. Yeah, he was wired, man. He's forty eight hours. Once I'm like, dude, you got to sleep. <laughs> No, so, you, you don't have to sleep at Snowbirds. My my trick for the first few years was to be up Wednesday night, all night, and then run two rounds of qualifying on no sleep whatsoever. Yeah, right. I'm not doing <laughs> it again, but that used to be my trick. Yeah. Yeah, I had a dad one time at the old hotel. Came up to me and reamed me out, man, because his kids were sleeping and they couldn't get in the room. And they saw him pass out on the bed, you know, and they were blaming me. And I'm like, God, I, your kids didn't go to bed. I, yeah, it's not my fault, you know. Uh, but that is what I should tell. I mean, if anybody's watching this has never been and they are coming, you get so wrapped up the first day that you, you lose track. It's like going on a cruise for the first time. And, and if you're a rookie drinker and you get drunk the first night, the rest of your week sucks. So, you know, you got to play and you're sleeping. I mean, <laughs> look at Ronnie laughing. But you got to play and you're sleeping. Or otherwise, it's going to be a long week. So you got to make sure you sleep. I mean, that's the thing. You don't want to get sick. And, um, you know, it's really qualifiers are over. And uh, for like road, and I'm like, I'm going to bed. Yeah, I'll see you guys at nine. Where are you gonna go eat? And then like some people, there's like the go eat early cruise, and then there's the go eat late cruise. I just gotta find the go eat late cruise. So you know, I get some rest, and then I'll go out and eat and stuff. Get second wind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's it's cool. I mean, we we got a really unique thing. I mean, it's it's a good time of the year. You know, we we've marketed as like the RC. Um, reunion, Dusty used that one time. I always say racing vacation. And um, so it is special. I mean, you know, and, and when it all comes down to it, I mean, a lot of people don't get to see uh, each other only once or twice. And that was the whole idea of this thing was Whippoorwill was closing and I was panicking because we had a yearly tradition to come to Florida. And I was like, we're going to lose this. You know, it was like when all the motor manufacturers would show up and, uh, you know, Charlie Swank is coming back. He hasn't been in years. And Mark Smike is racing, I guess. And, you know, uh, yeah, so it's really cool. Tom Postal has been back racing. And mm -hmm. so it is cool to see, like, what it does, you know. And um, I'm, you know, I'm, you know, proud. It's been 30 years, man. It's crazy, you know. Been Did a while. you ever think it would go this long? No. I mean, it was, you know, it's, you know. Is Julie just, sorry that it's gone this long? <laughs> <laughs> poor girl. The poor girl. So when I met her, we were at the old track, man, and uh, she had to hand out motors. Like, remember the brush motor? Yeah, yeah. She, she didn't know what the hell she was doing, man. It's like, you know. Um, yeah. So she's been through it all. You know, it's a great time of the year for me because, uh, you know, I'm glad Robbie's doing a little more racing and, you know, um, Florida guys kind of get, you know, our state series is doing good. So Dave Vera. We get a good, you know, the on-road scene's good. And Oval kind of sucks in the south. There's really not a lot, but it is what it is. We get a lot of northeastern. But look, I, I did get this today. I'm proud of it. So we always give koozies away. So we went color this year. Okay. You know, All right. Uh, yeah, and they even got the logo on the bottom. So you get one on your ass, too. Look at that. We got the logo on the, the bottom. All right. Not nice. to put beer in, but they do hold it. <laughs> <laughs> Have you tested that theory? No, no not yet. Not yet. Okay. But, yeah. Well, well, we look forward to it. Thanks, Mike. You know, I when you were disappeared for a while, th when you had to go poop or something. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, whatever. No, I told Monty, I mean, you, I, you know, you've always been a big supporter of us, and I really appreciate no, very little, no drama through the years, you know, and I really um, respect that. You know, you've always had a positive 
outlook on this hobby, you know, and kept it a fun thing, you know. And, and, uh, if it's it. not fun, I won't be here anymore. All right. Yeah. You know, I, I got to thank uh, Greg Sharp used to be a, a big yeah. part of the program. And Greg was like my uh, he was back in New Jersey. I met him there. Um, you know, he, a bunch of years ago, he asked, you know, to to get me into that uh, ballroom. You're like, who the hell is this guy? What is this? <laughs> What is this awesome Maddox thing? Yeah. And you know, I, I think it's just grown and grown and grown. You know, we might have uh, helped absorb some of the things that have left along the way, but you know, yeah. I, I think it's going to just be bigger and better. It's sad. I mean, if you, if you look back, associated, it's like you know, that's kind of sucks that they evolved. You know, they just kind of faded away. You know, they were a big part of this thing, and yeah, there's only so many years you can copy a Yokomo car. That's all it is. <laughs> Well, I do miss Sean Cochran. I mean, I don't. I hope he's well. Um, but that was there were some good old days, you know. But now we have, you know, like I said, you're living in the good old days. I tell people that, and anything in life that you do, it's like you look back at today's moment, make it good because you'll look back one day and say, "God, that was a good time," you know. Yep. And that and that goes with racing. Like, you know, you might think you're having a crappy weekend, but you probably still had some laughs on the way, and, and hopefully, you know, it's all we got, man. Memories and good times, right? Nobody remembers who won. At the McDonald's drive-thru, my buddy Billy Bruce says that all the time, you know. <laughs> so, so here's a question maybe to people out there. Ernie and Trinity had always been such a huge part of yep. the Snowbird Nationals. With Horizon Hobbies buying the brand, are they there this year? No. Hmm. Nope. You know, I, you know, I, I tried a couple of emails and it went nowhere. And I'm like, you know what, I, I'm not going to, you know. It, to me, it was my respect to Ernie. You know, he took a chance and uh, <clears throat> I respected him. You know, he, he was a tough guy. I, I can tell you, uh, it, it, it's a lot of stress when he was around. Uh, I did not look forward to this time of year because he he, he he got his way or he tried to get his way, you know, and he had a way of really manipulating. <laughs> um, but no, I don't. It doesn't mean anything to me anymore. You know, it was it, it, I don't know how they're doing, but they, they didn't reach out. I don't. You know, I don't I don't care. I don't, you know, <laughs> my diehards are the ones like you all and, and the ones that have been there every year, you know. Well, um, hey, hopefully it was a good opportunity for someone to step in. And, well, uh, it's kind of, you know, Ernie's kind of, well, I, kind of, I mean, since Ernie isn't around, I mean, over the years, Ernie's level of sponsorships kind of dropped. And I love that because I, I don't want to be a puppet. You know, I hated that pressure of, you know, hey, we're the sponsor. You know, he would always have a way of like he wanted his products in. Even you know, I had to tell him no a lot, and tell him learning no is not easy. He's I not mean, used to hearing it. Yeah, no, and we had to all the time. I mean, his twelve point three rotors. You know, back in the day, we wouldn't let him run or or what you know or whatever the hell the number was on the thirteen fives. But uh, yeah, and, and, you know, uh, one year I forget the year. One year he got mad, or I don't know what happened. Then shoemate. I always, me and Shu, Shoemate's been to every one of these things. Mm -hmm. And uh, I told Shu, I'll just put you on it because he, he's been there with me through it. He stayed over at my mom and dad's house when I was, you know, first couple of years. Like, you know, so he's a good dude too, man. And he's been here 30 years. And yeah, I always figured it's better to just have a little bit from a lot. And then you're not really controlled yeah. by anybody, you know. No, I, I don't think that's a bad way to be. And, you know, like the, the big thing is, you know, hopefully you're getting the support and, you know, Across the industry, things change, you know, like um, McPappy was a brand and it went yeah. away and then you Dom showed up with TCR and, you know, like there's all these different brands showing up every once in a while, you know. Oh, um, we, did it. We, we look back like, holy crap, like me and Dusty were looking at old T-shirts and like you forget, mm -hmm. you know, like, oh my like God. what's a Novak? What is that? Yeah. You or know? Thunder, Power, Thunder Power and yeah. Um, light speed motors. I, I don't know. You, you, there's hundreds of them, you know? It's like, oh my God. Cam. <laughs> yeah, Cam. Yeah. <laughs> Who remembers that? Tate. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. No, cool. but um, hey, we're ready, man. It's, uh, I, I, you know, I was a little worried with the worlds being here a couple, you know, weeks, yeah. weeks ago. It didn't hurt nothing. Um, so yeah, we're, we're on pace, man. It's, it's, uh, I'm really excited. You know, all my crew's back. Everybody's here and excited what Corey's doing again. You know, getting him to the race is so important to me because he makes sure everything works and mm -hmm. we have to have good scoring. You know, we can't have any downtime. And um, so we're, we're going to do our part, man. We, we're we ready. <laughs> well, hey, you know, um, 
30 years. Uh, should be a great party uh, this next uh, upcoming week. And, you know, I think we're, we're really just trying to figure out what are we going to be all looking like at the 40 year anniversary? <laughs> More gray hair. Ah, you or know, less. that's just for men, man. You can hook that up. It's fine. B bigger shirts and uh, more gray hair, you know. Yeah. <laughs> right. I, did, I did. Hey, the cool thing is Julie got a lady that does quilts, and we, we made a quilt with all the old shirts. There's about 20 of them. Mm -hmm. So we, she just picked it up today, and it's pretty cool to look back at all the past logos and stuff. So we'll, we'll have that. Up. You got, you should, you're going to give that to Dusty Kemp as an homage? or a... Yeah. No. It no, okay. too much. Screw him. All right, I right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> he's watching probably right now. He loves you guys. Oh yeah, yeah. He don't care. No, he's yeah. on, He's probably on his uh, cycle right now, um, working out. Oh yeah, that's what he says. Maybe that's what we Mengler. Let's do that. We could do this from like the Pelotons. <laughs> <laughs> Who's laughing? You hear all that laughter in the background, Mike? Yeah. Have you met? Um, uh, oh. The, nope. the Mangler's new no. partner? No. 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 All right. That would be good. Yeah. Yeah. She's, <laughs> she's, she's going to stop by. You know, yeah. she has to be something else to put up with that guy. <laughs> ah, he's she's a, a goddamn delight. That's what she is. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, good man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. All right. All right. Well, I got, we I got a show. Yeah. So thank you for joining us. We can't Hell wait to yeah. see you. Anytime. Uh, hey, by the way, the so live art. Let me, let me, I put. I threw you guys in the the ring, but um, part of this broadcast is they're going to do a lot of um, stuff in between, like track changes and the oval practice. Let's say, so I threw your names out there because I'm sure you know uh, would love to. Oh yeah. Chat. So we're, we're hey, a horse. We'll do it. Just, yeah. just have the bleep button ready. We're there for you. <laughs> all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it'll be on their account, so I don't care. <laughs> it's all not right, my birthday. Let's go. <laughs> So, yeah, all right, guys. Well, thanks a lot. Yeah, we'll see you thank you, week. Mike. Or a couple right, of Mike. Yeah. So, yeah. All right, thanks. man. Bye. Good. See you soon. All right. All right. So, you know, that was the the one of the nicest guys, I'll say, him, like genuine guys and fantastic family uh, in our oh, scene. Sure. Um, you know, I, I feel bad. I, like, I've got to see those kids grow, grow up over the last 14 years. All born. <laughs> well, I don't know about the born part. All right, I wasn't there for all that stuff. You know. Uh, anyway, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, not created. Okay, that probably no. happened to Snowbirds too. Let's backtrack the dates. <laughs> yeah, find yeah. some dates here. Yeah. yeah, a bunch of September babies, if you know what I mean. But um, yeah. uh, you know, anyway, uh, yeah, fantastic to see Mike, and uh, we'll be down there in in matter of days. So it should be good. I'm um, excited. And I I just got word. You know, not that I need to out everyone and, and whatever's going on with different people, but this was announced and it was public. Um, Wayne Gerber uh, down at uh, Norcar, uh, WT Hobbies, the establishment formerly known as The Gate over in Ohio. He had a little uh, little uh, ticker surgery today. And um, oh, man, didn't know he's out. Um They've given him lots of drugs and he's still in pain. So he's complaining about things and that is a good thing. So Wayne, good. I look forward to heckling you as uh, whenever you feel well again. So. All right. Get well, Wayne. Thank you. Um, Yeah. So we just had like, we had an hour of greatness. What do we do next? Uh, just an hour of suck. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so um, what do we want to like? You're you're so for folks who don't know, Mangler's been doing the the little uh I guess they're how what's the dimension? 16 by nines? Yeah, your aspect ratio, kid. Yeah. So he's been doing the 16 by nines. And Mangler, I gotta say, this 16 by nine is very depressing. All right. Like Why? where should we go? We're just gonna fail. Yet another beat down by FJ. <laughs> That's what I read. All right. Okay. Well, I mean, you feeling the, okay? The thing, the thing is called clickbait, right? And you need to like, like get them, get them hooked in. Like, what are they talking about? What's going on? Like, like you know, they do the clickbait last show ever, and like it's not really last show. Yeah. Why don't we get some better clickbait with like like different people, not us? We could put like you know George Clooney on there, or maybe, like, well, maybe I don't know how to do that yet. You know. I need to talk to Dusty Kemp and he needs to help me out with some of my skills. Like, I don't know how to do some of this shit. Like I'm 
dude, I, I can barely work my iPhone. So like the fact that we're getting these produced on a weekly basis yeah. is, is really cool. a is really a testament to my skills and ability. Hold on. And it's maybe been two or three weeks. Like let's not get carried away here. That's probably the longest I've ever probably done anything like this. I agree. Yeah. I, yeah. I, 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 you know, for me, computers are made for smashing, not for fucking <laughs> doing things. Like I don't really care. Like, like I don't even, I, I don't even own a laptop. Like this is like, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. So yeah. like the laptop we do the show on is not even mine. So <laughs> yeah, it's great. All right. <laughs> yeah. Well, and, anyway. and Goat just is, he's trying to throw it out there that his his tight pants are what brings the boys to the yard. All right. So I mean, if I gotta do more gay porn things, I mean what the hell? I mean not not personally, but like if I gotta put those as thumbnails. Yeah, maybe, maybe. I mean, if that's if that's what's all the milkshakes in the yard. Yeah, yeah. Dusty's saying your fingers are too big. Oh, is that what? His are not any smaller than mine. Let's be honest. <laughs> well, then that can't be it because he's a he's a fucking wizard compared to you. Oh right? yes, he is. He is a wizard. He's a he is a fucking wizard. There is no doubt about that. Yeah, dude, dude can yeah. Oh oh, there's a call out for the singlet. Singlet. Yeah. When's that happening? Soon. Oh well, yeah, we get five hundred. We're at three fifty something. Really. Really? Yeah, maybe, we broke 350 the other day. Maybe, maybe it'll just bounce up, you know. Who knows? We'll see. We'll see. And Mike Boylan give us that boiling boost. Yeah, could be. You know, maybe yeah. he just needs to share it on Mike's weather page. You know, I don't think he'll do that because he doesn't want to alienate his fan base. Those those old grannies in Florida will not like it whatsoever. Oh yeah, no. Yeah. We're we're not for them. <laughs> no, definitely not. So. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's awesome. Right. Yeah, so, he's actually doing another. You missed it, so he's gonna do, he's gonna do another podcast with Ricky Carnoodle. Oh, really? Yeah, and and you know, I, I talk about Ricky Carnoodle, the best cheating thing he ever did with that fucking battery. And Mike's like, like, why can't we do it? The four two on one side, and then like five zero on the other side. Is that what you're talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah. And he's like, I really can't comment on that. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like, well, I will. <laughs> You're just mad you didn't think of it first. I know. That's what I said. I was like, I'm just so disappointed that I didn't come up with that idea. Not that I would do it, but I just didn't come up with the idea. You would do it. Don't lie. No. Yes, you would. No, no, no. no. I will play in the liberal, liberal edge of the Gaudi, but I won't outright blatantly cheat. Yeah. I'm waiting for somebody to get enough balls where they open up a Speedo and just have the thing blink. Like they got some random thing that just blinks. Well, uh, our friend Adam Brown, he uh, he's he had the best thing is like, you know, you could you can manipulate the software to where that when you put you can't even make a picture, you're not man- manipulating anything. I'm not saying I'm doing it, but he says like somebody could program it to where like you put three degrees of boost in it and it blinks like a Maybe. blinky would. Like, Maybe you know, like you could have a setting that would do that. I just think you you know you just like. Like carve out the speedo case, put your own little blinkers in there. You know oh, that's, that that's how old guys would do it. Yeah, I mean that's kind of how we do with batteries. <laughs> See? <laughs> yeah. Anyway. I don't know. Ho- hopefully, there's none of these shenanigans. Well, my always thing was like the thing I always wanted to do was take a battery, open it up, and then ceramic coat the inside, right? So you so, can make it hot as shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it would still be cool on the outside. Mm-hmm. Never got around to doing that. But yeah, it, an idea. it could be a year, you know, for it. Who knows? Uh, uh, so. yeah, just make sure you have a lipo snack, okay? All right. Yeah. I, I, you know, like the, you know, you always try to, you always trying to push the envelope or think of things or try to like, you know, look at areas to improve. And, and I was just one of them one day. <laughs> hey, here's an idea. You put the singlet out in the, you know, one of these little pictures. Oh, and it's like really oh, brings I him in. I see. Could he wear the singlet? Like that'll be. Yeah. Are we going to see the singlet? Okay, I got gotcha. you. Mm-hmm. All right. See, that's why she is smarter than both you and I. That's fine. And because uh, she's got the ideas, and yeah. uh, that's fine. I'm good with that. Yeah. I mean, uh, I, both of our better halves are both smarter than ours. So I think. That, I mean. Are they really though? Yes, they no. are. I know for sure. 
Yeah, but that, that's called pity. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. Anyway. Um, they're very sympathetic, caring souls, and they feel sorry for us. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So, anyways. All right. Anyway. Um, so, moving on. Uh, <laughs> it gets twisted. Moving on. Uh, I think we should either do one of two things. We okay. can talk about uh, the track riding I did, or we just get right into snowbirds, who's going, who's going to kick ass, and who's on your cut list. I, I say we do that because I – Way more fun. Fall, Yeah, me falling asleep, you talking about how you fucking move some shims around and thought you gained seven tenths. Yeah, is, you, you, yeah you're never going to pay tenths for that. We got it. All right, so, so – What was that? All right. <laughs> All right, so let's let's get this thing shared up here. Uh, all right. So event registration. Here we go. This is the site if folks didn't know. I think this is the first year of this, and I really think this is amazing. I, I really appreciate excuse me, I really appreciate this. And it doesn't suck like RC sign up. Well, so, RC sign up is the worst thing ever. All right, so so we have 71. So we've gone up since I last looked at this. Yeah. So we have 276 dudes or dudettes. That's pretty good. Yeah. Um, all right. So sports We're definitely breaking 300 something. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Sportsmen, are we gonna are we gonna talk about sportsmen or do we want to just call out the people who aren't sportsmen? What do we think? I think we start calling out. Okay, uh, you go. I've already done that though, so no, no, who like, look, these guys got sponsors. This guy is a—he's a battery manufacturer. How is he? Yeah, it is. It's Tim. I, whatever. I, I, some of these people I don't know. Well, that's that's probably good. This guy's a motor manufacturer. Yeah. This is Ron Getter. Although he hasn't really raced in a while. He hasn't raced in like six years. What will be really good is though when when this Philip Huddy just whoops everyone's ass. Oh yeah, he's crushing souls. Yeah, for sure. So like, if I had to pick a top three out of this list of how many people after I've seen it, I'm picking uh, Young Huddy, Ron Goder, and. And Cravata. That's that's the list of three for me. How about you? I'm I'm good with that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. 215 touring car. This is 31 entries. That's pretty big. Yeah. Um huge. so we could we could highlight the folks who, who could win. Um EA could win. Um FJ, he probably won't win. No. Um Fair Trace, it is in 2014. He won't win. Um, Drew Ellis, he's not going to win. Um, Martin Huddy, he's not going to win. That's it? Jan Rotensky? Uh, dude, I'm going to do really good in this class. Adam, Adam, it's, it's a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. These guys, you know, they're fine. They're, they're, they're bringing in ringers, dude. They're bringing Brian Card, in. Brian Card, he'll do, he'll do Brian well. Brian Card, of course, but... You know, I'm Martin looking at like Huddy. who's gonna win. I, I dude, I, I think I could top five this motherfucker. I'm looking at it. I, I'm excited. I'm excited for the you opportunity. Be sending your shit off the track. Probably. All right. So I well, top three. I got uh EA Yan and uh Itse or whatever his name is. Okay. All right, that's fine. You can you yeah. can pick those people. All right. Seth, you picking? Oh, um, I'm gonna pick uh EA Yan and me. All right. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Unless you're going to be peeling like you did in VTA. Uh, dude, I'm going to do whatever I can. Call the stop and goes. Bring it. All right. All right. So um, 17.5 touring car. Only 14 dudes. Um, I think you might make this one. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. There, but, like, dude, there's people here I don't know. Like, who is Pavel? I don't know who Pavel is. He's, he's definitely coming in from uh, – from uh, across the seas. Um, yeah, dude, you know, like James Morris, he's pretty fast for a local guy. Yeah, he is. 
not a lot of carpet time, but like the guy, he he'll figure something out. Um, yeah, I, uh, I I still have the same top three. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll take the same top three too. Me, EA, and Jan. Sounds great. Okay. All right. All right. Mod touring. Sixteen people here. Um, Hagbird's here. He's always a contender. Drew and Mod. He, Drew's a hot shoe. Bruno's won it the last many X years. Um, Jan's been fast in mod. So I'm going to go Jan, Bruno, Bussy. Is the top three? Top three. Oh, it's going to be it's going to be a sweep by X-Ray. Jan, uh, Hagberg, and Bruno. Well, we'll see. All right. Um, Put Dave Beer at fourth. Okay. All right. Oh, so it's going to be a, a top four sweep? Is that what you're saying? Uh, go back up. All right. Mm -hmm. Hold Bussy, on. There's one. On. Two. Bruno. Three. Fira. Drew. Four. Mm -hmm. Five. So there's five automatics is out of 16. Mm -hmm. I, I, I mean, I think you're going to get four. It'll be mm -hmm. six to four at best. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. All right. G As of right now, you know, obviously people can come in and sign yeah. up still. So, yeah. Who knows, you know? Um, GT12R. Uh, last year, Peter won. Yep. Coming back. So he's automatically number one. Push people's stuff in. Folks, I think, need to not sleep on this Ryan Stevens kid. And then you got Jakes and Crotty. Those mm -hmm. guys are crafty. Oh, shit. A gentleman racer. Panzika. What's yep. going gentleman on? Gentleman racing. Ah. You know? I'm working on the car right now. Uh -oh. It's right here. Uh oh. And then got look, the we got we got Eddie Goodrich and uh Panther and Crowder. Two Crowders. Well, yeah, we got a Crowder sandwich. Who the hell is big club guy? That's postal weight. Oh, okay. <laughs> and Smike is running. Uh yeah. dude, there's gonna be some hurt feelings in this race. Oh, for there's sure. Evan Bont. Dude, there's there's maybe and Fershing. Dude, yeah. there's maybe more talent in, in this GT12 race than the 17.5 race. Let's just put it that way. I don't know. 17.5 is going to be pretty tall, style, too. I don't know. I think this this thing is more stacked than that. I mean, you know, again, I think, I I think for, myself, for myself, I think I could be going home Saturday night. I mean, that's all there is to it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I agree with you. Um, yeah. I totally agree with you. All right. Yeah. So um, maybe I need to run mod touring car so that I don't. Well, you could. You can enter. There's spots. All right. Yeah, so, um, it's from my asphalt car. Yeah, there you go. We'll be hooked up for the first day at least. Um, we got we got Nash, which is uh, Robert Durla. Durla put it over on some people at Indoor Chance. I'm just going to put it there. All right? Yeah. yeah. Um, Peter again. Uh, Ryan Stevens. Fair Trace. Crotty. Jakes. McNichols. Rayfield. Fabio. Lars is uh Mr. Uh, Modalizer himself. Yeah. Mata, yourself, Goder, Lambert, Crowder, Chuck Lonergan. Oh yeah. Smica. Oh yeah. Lowry's good in this class. So so Skittles, Van Ert, Naps in this? Yep. Dude, enjoy the B main in this thing. Dager? Fershing. Woo! Fershing? This Charlie? If you make if you make this main, you've actually done something in your life. I've, I mean, you I, ha I have I have I I have TQ seventeen five at Snowbirds before. Yeah, yeah, you did once. Mm -hmm. it, it's there. So who who's the top three? What's your list? Well, it's Sean. Okay. Uh, Sean. Uh, Fabio. I mean, Trandell's going to run, right? Uh, he's not entered yet. So right. we'll see. Fair trace. Okay. Well, I, you know, honestly, I'm really interested to see what the uh, CRC crew comes up with. I think Knapp will, will figure out something. And uh, I pick. Whose motors is he running? I don't know. And I pick. All exalt. I don't know. Rayfield and Fabio, just because those guys are machines. Um, 
Okay, super stock 12th scale, and I'm not in this yet, all right? So uh, I'm are you going to run it? I might. I Dude, the cars are they're coming out right now. Um, oh, shit. I found, I found my motors last night. Yeah, they're, they're probably coming out. Um, all right, so uh, Peter, EA, Fairtrace. Ollie is throwing it down in there. Oh, yeah. Ollie in stock is is dangerous, bro. Yeah. Um, Rayfield, Fabio, yourself. Oh, Donnie. Donnie wins next. All right. Everyone's, <laughs> everyone's, everyone's looking for second. So it's Donnie and then Ollie. And um, yeah, Vera. You just missed Vera. Yeah, I did. I did. Yeah. Jaeger and Jan. I don't know. It's, it's going to be Donnie, Ollie, and uh, Fairtrace. That's who I pick. Okay. Who do you think? I got EA Donnie and uh, 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 Ollie. Okay. Yeah. All right. So mod 12th. Um, uh, yeah. So it's not a deep field. Um, it's going to be Alex versus Donnie versus Ollie. That's it. Bruno? No? No. Okay. So, I don't think so. All right. What do you think? Uh, I will put – it's going to be Donnie, Alex. I'll put Jan in there. Okay. Jan, dude, Jan is uh, – he's the X factor right now. Yeah. Um, all right. USGT, only 29 entries. This class might be tied up. It might be done, locked up. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's 29. That's full. Oh, that's his number. Yeah. Hmm. All right, scanning the scanning the list. Robert Cunningham, you never know. Byron's always fast. Corey Craig, he 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 makes things happen. Andrew Ellis, that could be Panther. Uh, oh, this guy I'm Schultz. Not sure, Martin. Schultz, Schultz is going to win. Oh, Stefan Schultz. Yeah, is he only running USGT? Probably that, and probably front wheel drive. He'll just. Dude, they're bringing a bunch of guys just to go to Disney. All right. It's really cute. All right. So it's going to be Schultz, Evan Bonta and Arvin Nano. That's my picks. Okay. What do you got? Schultz. Sure. Uh, I'll go with that. Anyone else? No. Nah, I don't know. I don't really know too many people. Okay. That's fine. All right. F1, only 12. Should we even rank it? Jan. If Jan's running it, Jan's running it. Jan's running it. It's, it's done. Jan wins. Next. Um, all right. VTA. 32 guys. Uh, Are you running this? I'm not running this. I'm, Why not? I'm 100% not running this. Last oh. time I drove this class, I ran EA's car. Um, that's when he was on an awesome, or he had he was on the X-ray team, but he had an awesome Max car. Just saying. Um, I think Corey Craig wins this one or Jimbo, maybe Jimbo. Yeah. The little huddy kid, the little huddy kid's going to dominate. Yeah. Oh, crush kid. Evan Bonta, dude, Evan Bonta wins, peels the huddy kid. That's, that's all I got to say. Okay. All right. Now front wheel drive. I think this is going to be interesting because there's been a crew of some front wheel drive guys on a resurgency right now. And it's going to be Schultz and, and Adam Isay versus Arvin and uh, Cash. Myberg. Myberg. Who? That, Myberg. Andrew Smyberg. Oh, with the the Iris? Yeah. Iris was doing work, kid. There was there was a big, big announcement on RC Tech today. I'm, I'm actually going to hide this for a half a second so you can see the white of my eyes. Big announcement. Burp, 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 burp. <laughs> Teach, for guys who don't know Teach, you got to know who Teach is, all right? Teach announced that he had to um, he had to give up on the Irish car because there's too many belts. It's too slow and um, in the stock classes. So, in front wheel drive, there's only one, so it's all good. Okay. Oh, maybe. You sure they didn't add another belt in that car? No, 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 no. Front wheel drive car, it went out went on ETS like the first weekend. Okay. Hey, Goat, there will be a, a front-wheel drive in, in the hobby store, just saying. Um, anyway, so moving on, back to uh, the screen share. 
All right, now I got to flip screens. Okay. Uh, all right, carrying on. Uh, Twenty-one five. Let's do oval stuff. I don't know oval stuff, but let's do it anyway. I, Come on, twenty-one five uh, truck. Um, James Riley, he'll be yeah. up there. Yeah. Um, what else we got here? What do you think Dusty will do? Is he Dusty a main? Or he main? Who Dusty Kim? Yeah, he's a main. All right, he's he's running. Uh, what's his name's truck? I don't know. What's his name? Uh, Bruno. That's a Bruno Hoffman prepared whip. Oh, it's a Bruno Hoffman special? All yes. right. It'll be pretty cheater then. Um, and then uh, I, I know my man Chuck Winters, he'll be doing something. You know, him and his like, you know, uh, I think he I think he might work in the same establishment as you. Yes, um, he does. Alan Beeler, he's always quick. All right. I, it's going to be one of those four. That's my, my take. personal do pretty good. Okay. Yeah. I think. All I don't right. know. I don't know who does anything in Oval anymore. Yeah, you should pay attention. 46 entries? Jesus Christ. Yeah, dude. 17.5 car. And, you know, if they run a Montec body and they TQ, that's $300 right in their hand. Nice. Um, Because TQing Oval is the most important thing. Well, dude, you can't really win the race. It's usually a fucking shit show. Yeah, so, yeah. It is all, all right. Yeah, it's all about TQ. All right. Uh, Who's TCR? That's that's toy car racing. That's uh, Dom's new oh, thing. Oh, that's Dom's thing, huh? Yeah. Toy car racing. All right, Scott. I, I'm 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 feeling Scott here. And I don't know. Maybe Art. Oh, we got Ryan Weeks. Uh, I, I I know. I Art. think I knew that guy. Yeah. Alan Bruno. Bill. Koopy could be him. I don't know. It's going to be a rough one, I think. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. All right. 13.5 super stock. Is super stock with a wing or without a wing? I think it's without a wing. I don't know. Yeah, I think this is using the car body without the wing, so not the open body. Okay. And this is probably Blinky. Uh, James Riley again. Nick, Nick Bell. Bell. There he is. Yeah. Tommy Peters probably doing something. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. Well, that, that shows how much we know. All right. So now 13 <laughs> 5 open. This oh. is the faster cars, open speedo. Oh. This is where shit starts to break. Yeah. Right? This is where I was good at. I was good at this class. Okay. So Anthony, Anthony Cyril. Yeah. Cyril's, Dom. Tommy Peters, Dom. Yeah. yeah right it's going to be, it's going to be Most in this sort of, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, let's put it this way. Seven guys, they can just run the main. It'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. No practice. Just run it. All right. Pro Modified. Now, yep. Pro Modified used to be a deep class. Nick Bell. Yeah. He'll they be there. Salvis will be fast. Pernuda will be fast. Yeah. Dustin won't be fast. Oh, wow. That's wrong. Um, I know. How about like Pemberton? Pemberton can put a run in. Yeah. No shit. He did last year. Yeah. Yeah, I uh, dude, even Mike Bean, like, all I love watching mod oval, that's my favorite. I think I like racing it, but yes, I've never done that. I don't think anyone wants that. All right, no, SK don't. car. Um, these look cool to me, but that's all I'm gonna say. Next, um, spec 10. I, I don't, don't even know much about this. All right, next, Bush pan car. This is a big Florida thing, I thought. Uh, yeah, I guess. I don't know. A lot of Florida dudes. Yeah, there's a lot of Florida dudes here. And I, I think this is Cal's thing, actually. So Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cal, he'll be laying it down. All right. And then uh, Sportsman R Rubber Tire Truck. Yeah. That's a class that won't die, huh? I don't even know this thing. Yeah, that's a Rubber Tire Truck. And then they have Stock Rubber Tire yeah. Truck, another class that won't die. Okay. All right. And then... They have 12 scale truck. This is new this year. Yeah, I think uh, some new companies building bodies. Yeah, yeah, dude. They don't even look like trucks. They might as well be. Um, I think it's doing it, isn't it? I don't know. Dude, they might as well be the cyber truck. That's what these things look like to me. Oh, geez. Um, all right. And then it keeps on going. Uh, and then uh, there's mod 12 scale. 
Yeah. Maxwell scale back in the day. What was the name of that guy who used to always wax everyone's ass? Me. No, no, other than you. Phil Marabella? You Marabella, there you go. He used to bang people out. That was okay. the thing. I've only won like snowbirds like five times in 12 scale. So. Okay, well, dude, no one cares about you, all right? That's all we're saying. No one cares, all right? You're only on the goddamn podcast. What else do you need? All right? Uh, you need a dick. You need a dick. Anyway, so, and then Mud Boss. I don't know what I feel about Mud Boss at this event. Why not? Salvis will probably win. Well, duh. Anyway. All Man, right. they created the class. And I think there's Sprint Car. What do you think? What class is more crazy, Sprint Car or Mud Boss? Mud Boss. Sprint Cars are actually – it pays 500 to win, I think. What? Yes. Dude, there are only seven guys. Maybe I should I should put in for that. You could at least take two out. I could – I dude, I could take out the whole field. I guarantee Yeah, I think it pays 500 to win. All right. And then what is – Tour Expo Pro RT. I don't even know what that is. I don't know. I think this is faster motor rubber tire car. That's what this is. Okay. Yeah. I don't really know. Uh, and we're not doing a good job of reading the comments because I, I can't uh, I can't see them. All right. Um, apparently, you still have one fan. All right. We care, Mangler. We care. Aww. Yeah. Um, I, yeah, I do think the, the sprint cars are crazy. The whole open wheel thing. That's why also that SK thing is is kind of exciting to me. Yeah, yeah. Wheels. Yeah, they, um, get, they, go, they get to tumbling. Yeah. Now, I thought they used to have like a breakout class. I don't think it's there this year. No, they haven't had breakout for years. Okay. Well, it, dude, I think I'm I'm a kind of like a breakout sort of racer, you know? Yes, yes. Because I could yeah. just throw down like an old World GT and just run that. Yeah, I mean – have you ever seen a breakout race? Yeah, it's yeah. really fun. You just got to stay under, like above the. And they, and they don't announce lap times because mm -hmm. yeah. you don't want to give. So, like, they just say he was in the lead. Yep. And yeah, what I've had, I've I used to run breakout at my track, and yeah. it was some of the most fun racing to watch and announce because, like, all of a sudden, some dude's like three laps up and he breaks out two times. And now he's there's, there's a race, you know. Now he's in fourth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and the problem yeah. is, how do you catch up once you broke out? You can't. You just got to hope else you break, out. To break out. Yeah. Or you could start peeling people, right? That too. Hmm. So yeah, I think You're I was about to peel. Yeah. <laughs> Duh. Oh. Uh, all right. Way to win friends and influence others at the track. Yeah. Peeler. All right. So Mangler, I, I, I'm telling you, I see that stock 12 scale like assortment. I see that super stock 12 scale assortment. And I see that GT12 assortment. <laughs> you better be on your game, son. Oh, you I could definitely what? be going home on Saturday. Hold on, Mangler. One one or two more things. I, I don't know if you figured this out yet, but if not, you have some time to work something together. So okay. That GT12 class, right? I'm assuming you're going to get tires there, right? Yeah. You get right. one set. I've heard never ending crying about these things. Okay. And the new rims, because the offset is fucked up on the rims. Okay. So this is this is a public service message. Okay. You're going to need to either whittle a shim, buy a shim, or use like just metric shims to make your track width not be 165 at the back of your car. Why? I thought it was 172. Yeah, yeah. The rim offset's fucked. Okay. You need at least a three mil spacer on each side of that goddamn wheel. Okay. And so if you are running uh, a gear diff, you're going to need special screws that are fucking really long. You know what I, I mean? Yeah, I don't know, man. Okay. Well, I'm just trying to prepare you, dude. Yeah, I'm like, I'm just going to throw I some spent stuff. love racing it here, and they're just fucking bitching nonstop about these crazy, ugly, weird offset rims. Do you know where they are from? Who? The rims? Yeah. 
I don't know, some some company from America. Yeah, TM, um, Tony Mancinelli, who's passed away. His son owns it now. Um, yeah. they this room, this room has been around since 1990, yada yada yada. Yeah, yeah, it looks like it. Um, yeah. and then the other problem is guys have even taken the screws and they've like laid down the heads of the screws so that they can drive them on home straight through the fucking wheel. What do you mean? They fucking get hung up as you try to push them in. The screws? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm just telling you the things people bitched me about, right? What kind of screws are they using? I mean, dude, I don't know. I don't well, know. I mean, you're, you're there. But, dude, I'm not paying that much attention. Yeah. People are telling me. The screw goes through just fine. Okay. All right. But what I'm tr what I'm trying to tell you is you're going to need to put a fucking three mil spacer on the other side of it. So you're going to have to invent some screws and then they're going to have a fucking giant head. Oh, you're telling you have to space out the hub, the wheel on the hub. Yeah. Uh -huh. Or so are, are you going to run a diff or are you going to run a spool? I don't know. OK, well, probably a spool, right? That's what you always run. In rubber tire. I'm not prepared for this. Dude, you might be racing Saturday, or sorry, Sunday in the C main. Oh, well, you know, at least I'll be racing on Sunday. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So please, somebody out in internet land, help the GT12R rookie over here, the big fella. He needs your help. He needs some shims. He needs some whatever. You should actually reach out to Eddie Goodrich. He's gone through all this frustration already. Eddie, hit me up. Yeah. So so they make a shim for the back of this? No, no. People have made some shims. Like, they've 3D printed stuff. They've cut shit out of metal. But then you need longer screws, and the fucking heads on the screws aren't going to fit. It's all fucked up. Hmm. But it's Tuesday. All right. It's almost Wednesday. You can get past this. You're going to have to figure out all the shit real fast, order some shit on McMaster. Dude, just bolt them bitches onto your car. Watch. You're going to have 167 millimeter rear wheel base. Uh, yeah, I haven't gone through all this yet. I haven't put the rear wheels on. Yeah, you need to do that fast, son. Oh, okay. Yeah. I just yeah. saved your goddamn event right there. Yeah. That's what friends do. <laughs> Here's to me. <laughs> um so you're running you're gonna run 12 scale too um i uh i found my 12 scale mod card okay and um i'm thinking about 13.5 really i'm i'm almost guaranteed to run 12 scale mod okay because it's I hope you do. so fun dude it's the funnest yeah. shit. you're gonna run a six five hell yeah all right Hell yeah. Oh, oh, here's a here's a hot bed question. What about all the pros from Awesomatics USA not going? Ooh. Well, dude, like I'm a pro, Mangler's a pro, EA's a pro, Donnie's a pro. I, I think the real challenge this year is people already went to worlds for 12 scale, and now they're gonna be going to worlds for touring car. So worlds for touring car out in California because there's a dude there's a list of dudes that hasn't been to a roar race or hasn't been to an asphalt roar race ever in their life and they're all like I'm gonna make this race so there are some people who legitimately have been to roar races and you know whether they've done well or not you know like the first step is have you gone to the roar race okay right has it been like in this decade maybe. All right. Yeah. Um, and that's probably what's going to help drive the cut list because there's going to be every Californian in the world trying to get into this race. And they're all going to probably be told to pound sand. I'm just assuming. Um, but yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. The only Californians that are going to be there is probably like Lex Tyler and uh, Cruise Missile. That's it. Because those are the only ones that travel anywhere in the country. Or that are qualified. Yeah. That's what I'm getting. Yeah. Yeah. So, I, I don't, yeah, I mean, the awesome act guys, like, we do have a, a big list of people not going. Uh, it's sad not to see Sam, it's not sad not to see like X. 
Um, you know, there, there's a list. Yeah. I'm just going to start listing people and then you'll be like, oh, they're not coming. And they're that guy too. And that guy. But you know what? There's still a fine collection of people going. Um, I honestly think this this race is going to look more like an entry from 2014 than from 2024. There, there's going to be some real throwback racers at this event. Oh, so, yeah. Because people just have fun at it, you know? Holy Jesus. Yeah, kid. <laughs> like, I can't even attach the goddamn thing. You're welcome, kid. Oh, that's that's too that's a that's 174. So I've I've gone too far now. I there's no way you've got to 174. I just fucking did it. People haven't been able to get the is it like left to right centered? I just added the same amount to each side. All right. Well, everyone's telling me they can't make make with. Maybe they're running the the gear diff. Oh, I don't know. I'm running a spool. That's what I got. Here, here's my suggestion. Call Rayfield. <laughs> That's my suggestion. All right. Okay. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I think at this point, yes, you beat me down to the fact that I'll be done on Saturday. So. <laughs> oh, come on. Br bring that carbon touring car, bro. Why should I even come? I mean, why do I shouldn't even go? Exactly how our <laughs> our, our little thumbnail said. Why should we even go? It's uh, over. Oh. It's over. I'm, Haven't even got look, there. You can run a carbon chassis at the event. It'll be great. I, I mean, I could. I have one. I have two. I have three carbon cars. Yeah. I mean, I think it'll work. I don't know. I don't know shit about fuck when it comes to running a turn car on carpet right now. So. It's so easy. It would, even Jay can do it. it. It wouldn't go well. That's for damn sure. Oh, it'd be fine, dude. You just need to get rid of that hard servo horn. It'll be all right. Oh, yeah. I don't even have a servo saver. I, dude, I just bought a bunch from uh, Michael's RC Hobbies. Thanks again. Oh, yeah. All right. So, yeah, it looks like I have some work to do on this rear wheel base. <laughs> <laughs> Did you realize that it isn't right? Just now, okay. But I thought you said it was one seventy four. Yeah, but I it, I couldn't clamp the axle on with that one hundred seventy four. Bingo. So you don't have to run one hundred seventy two. You could be one seventy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's going to be dialed. I'm making it work. Okay. All right. Um, and so one of the the fun things that you know Mangler likes to do. He's the big fan of the polls here at uh, at our little uh, community. And so we've only had eight votes so far. Uh, let's see if we can add maybe a vote or two. I'll add so mine. All right. So here we go. Um, the, the questions are, how many classes are you running? So one, two, three, four, or Jan, which means <laughs> five or more, all right? And he's running six. So right now, I'm honestly only running three. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to add a fourth and maybe a fifth. So I'm going to I'm going to answer truthfully for now. So like, are you like, are you going to try to shoot tires? Like, you, you know. I am going to be a fucking mooch and oh. find somebody to help me true tires. Okay. Yeah, that's that's this guy. That's his plan. Don't look over here. Yeah, I probably am. Everyone's like. Exactly. Because that's the last thing somebody wants to do is true your fucking tires. Yeah, you know, I just need to know what the truer set at so I can start causing some damage. So. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Um. So, but you went, you practiced this weekend, went well? Uh, yeah, pretty good. You know, destroyed a speedo, I heard. Oh, yeah, dude, I fucking hit the wall so hard. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, I, so my corner, getting onto the straightaway, yeah. finally got yeah. me. And oh, then, yeah. so the next, the next pack out, dude, like I broke in practice. All right. And so, you know, the next time the car hits the track is for the qualifier. 
And I'm going around and it's like, have you ever had a Speedo give you basically all the throttle or no throttle? So like, you know, no throttle, you're not going anywhere. And then you yeah. do and you're full throttle. Oh, okay. So that's what it was doing. Oh, wow. And it did that for about four seconds or so. Okay. And then maybe the next two laps, it was a little weird. Okay. And then, but by, you know, like, let's say 30 seconds into it, it was fine. But the very first time going around, I fucking slammed into two cars because I couldn't even stop. Like, we're trying to grid up. And I'm just like, bam. And I'm just like, I was like, sorry. I was like, something's wrong with my car. So. Uh, but we're running anyway. Yeah, I was running it anyway. <laughs> I just put a different motor in with a whole different gearing and whatever else. I was like, I need to figure this shit out. Oh, God. Yeah. Never mind the fact your speedo isn't working correctly. So that could not affect the results whatsoever. Well, I I still think it was enough to tell. Okay. <laughs> and um, but yeah, I thought it was I thought I like fucked up my my massive super cap. That wasn't it. And um, so like I swapped that out, and then like I, I had basically rushed to resolder my entire speedo, and then we're starting at the grid of it. The A main, the fucking thing doesn't run. So I was like, minutes grace, and like the C leg was off on the speedo, so I solder that shit on quick. It was a goddamn mess, dude. I was stripping spur gears left and right. I did two spur gears in because I was putting 21.5 and this one and that one and now a 17 and now a 21. I, it was a fucking disaster. <laughs> it's going to be so really go. Yeah, yeah. Dude, that's why I'm building the third car right now. Just so I can at least run motors without stripping gears all day. Oh, gosh. Yeah. And then I'll add 12 scale. Maybe I'll just see like the 12 scale program, what I'm thinking about. This is going to be like a Wednesday audible. It's going to be like, okay. let's see how Tuesday goes. Yeah. And then, okay. I'll just throw it down. It'll be fine. Okay. Yeah. All right. So. All right. What well, I can't do? wait. I can't wait. I, I really hope I don't suck. Me too. It's not looking good. <laughs> Come on, dude. It's going to be great. I don't know. I'm super excited about these heats. I think there's either going to be a lot of lot of close racing or a lot of butthurt people. One of the two. I don't know which yet. Hey, I'm going to go there. I'm going to do the best I can. And what happens, happens. That's all. That's the end. You're like, I'm going to crush motherfuckers. I just don't. My crushing days are over. The only thing I crush anymore is Diet Coke. Hmm. Interesting. Have you tried Coke Zero? Yeah, I, don't, I used to like it, but now it's too sweet. Huh, interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I had a Celsius uh, last weekend for the first time. Have you ever had one of those? No, I have not. Maybe we can get Celsius as a sponsor for the podcast. Where, what? What's this like? Is this like some – is that carbonated water? It's Yeah, it's like a kind of a fizzy oh, sort of, No, no, it's tasty. It's good. Oh. It doesn't have any of the stuff like – it doesn't have the stuff that makes your asshole bleed. Is that like it. San Pellegrino? No, no, it's not like that. That's that's way that's legit fancy. This is not fancy. Oh, okay. So, all right. Yeah, I see them out there, but I don't know anything about them. Yeah. I want the one thing I did want to try is like the the hard Mountain Dews. I heard those were good. Yeah, I don't know anything about that. Yeah, those are like only sold in Tennessee and Florida. Okay. Where the true where the true Billies roam. <laughs> I could see. We that. got free range Billies down here. Yeah, yeah, I could totally see that. So, I'm not. I'm not arguing with you on that one. So, so, and unfortunately, our, our governor decided to drop out. So we're fucked. What does that mean? So he's still your governor? Yeah. What do you think he was going to become your president? Come on, I was man. So we can leave. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, all right. Apparently, um, they're good. Oh, I, oh no! I've heard a lot of people say they're really good. I just never. I, I keep seeing it at their store, and I'm like, yeah, I don't know. yeah. So, yeah. So I and again, like I would like to apologize to the entire Nora, uh, twenty one five heat for peeling everybody, not on purpose, just mostly because my speedo was broken, and I'm trying to figure out how to drive my car. So thank you. Good job. Yeah. So. so. 
But yeah, um, it felt pretty good. You can make it all up by winning. What's that? You can make it all up to him by winning. I'm going to try. I'm going to try my hardest. Um, Hey. 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 Hey, girl. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Um, You know, it'll be fun. I can't wait. I mean, hell, Fair Chase is going to make a comeback. So it's like the band's going to be back together. Yeah, dude, we're going to get like get thrown out of an Applebee's. Let's go. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, and uh, so we have some new members this week. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Who? What? What's this little puppy? What's this one? That's Nanook. That's Nanook? Nanook? Like, like um, Eskimo? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And the other one is Klondike. Klondike? Yeah, Klondike and Nanook. What would you do ooh, ooh, for a Klondike bar? Oh, he's a little shy. There we go. Hi. Hmm. Oh. Look at the droopy faces. Yeah, they have a little droopy. What, they got all the ring. Someone poop themselves? No, I think it was just a tail. All right. But well, yeah, we got these guys for like a week. Oh. We're going. Oh, 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 sorry. Sorry. Why does he hate puppies? No, no, no. That's Jamie. She's saying, hey, puppies. Oh. Hi. All right. Well, anyway, everyone. So, yeah, these guys are a little bit more docile. Yeah. Okay. You you scared? Are you scared, the guy? Do you think oh. they're going to come to Snowbirds? No. <laughs> no, they're going to have their nuts amputated by then. Oh, come on! Don't say that to them. Well, they don't know. They don't know. Look at this one. He's just he's just all cuddled up, just yeah. sleeping. Yeah. Mm. So yeah. So we got yeah a little batch of puppies for the week. So. All right. Well, there you go. Drop one. Who would have have thought, man? You and the puppies, huh? Yeah. Well, this is fun because it's like it's like having like your sister's kids over. You only get them for like a couple days, and then they go. Then they go home. You don't have to really like deal with it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Nice. These guys are cuddlers. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And which one is that? This is uh, Klondike. Okay. All right. What would you do for a Klondike part? What yeah. would you do for a Klondike puppy? Yeah, I don't know. Does Klondike or um, the Nook know their names? No. No. Mm. No. But they, they, they're, um, they, uh, you know, we don't name them. They just come with names. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. So that's all right. We can't blame you guys for the names. I understand. That's what you're saying. You okay? Yeah. He, he's just a little nervous. Yeah. Well, this is his big. You know, TV premiere. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 15 minutes of fame. 15 minutes of fame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now there's been a couple times where like, so we take puppies back, and then on the weekend they have like these uh the Pinellas County um uh Humane Society, they have like events and they you know they bring the puppies to the events, and inevitably it's always the ones that we have are there and they're like you know getting shown off, and so because mm-hmm. you know. They they're very they're very people puppies by the time they leave us because we play with them and they, you know, whatever. Yeah, that's good. Have you thought about bringing a puppy to work? Oh, I can't. No. <laughs> no. no. There's a lot. Of, there's a lot of a lot of legal issues with that. <laughs> Just wondering, asking for a friend. Yeah. No. 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 My my workplace now would allow me to bring a puppy. Or a dog. Really. Yeah. You should bring Tyrion, and then you'll never have to come back to the office again. Yeah, they'll fire me instantly. <laughs> fucking great. Uh, like Mike, you, Mike you can work from home now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he'll just bite all the people, maybe piss on something. That'll be great. <laughs> yeah, just yelp and bark at people all day. Hell yeah. Yeah. Just, like bully somebody around a little bit. That'd be awesome. Yeah, I, I think this is a great idea. This is way to again to win friends and influence others. Yeah, <laughs> this is the bring Tyrion into the office. Mm-hmm. All right, so here, here's a serious question: uh, Will there be a voltmeter with uh, bullets on it? Yes. Okay. Yeah, they'll tech the they'll they'll because we talked about it and they'll be teching like. Okay. So there you go. Yeah. All right. Look hey, this I can't wait to, to see the new ways in which the oval guys try to cheat. I, I want to learn. Please show me the way. All right. So we just you just he just asked the question, so he'll yeah. know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, look, apparently 
Tyrion barked all day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's down there. That's why we didn't hear him this fucking podcast. Mm -hmm. Oh, makes sense. Barked all day. Yeah. Yep. And, you didn't, and you didn't hear one of them. Yep. Poor Jamie. I'm sorry, Jamie. Super quiet for me. Yeah, yeah. Roxy is the saint. We know this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I guess I guess the dog does take after the owner. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> You're a little fucking loud. <laughs> Maybe old Mike. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. You're you're so yeah. yeah I'm changed. Mike, oh, yeah. Now this is Mike like 11 teen or something. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Apparently I've changed, huh? Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. All right. Michael now instead of Michael. Yeah, 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 that's what I am. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. it. All right. Yeah, Here we go. Signing off. All right. This is Bye. in uh, Roger Cronkite. <laughs> We'd like to appreciate all our visitors. Big thank you to Mike Boyland. I don't know why I'm moving my head like this. <laughs> I think someone should call 911. All right. Okay. And uh, yeah. That's it. That's a Bye. show. And, and apparently, you know, we'll probably try to find a way to do this poorly at Snowbirds. So. Yes, I think we should. Yeah, poorly. Yes. Mm -hmm. so, all right. Well, thanks, everyone. Like, subscribe, share. Please hit that mm -hmm. notification bell so you know what's going on. Yeah. See everyone next week. Yeah, we'll be there. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> see ya. Bye. That's it. It's a show. Bye-bye. Bye. Say bye. <laughs> <laughs>